Like wildfires are a part of life in Southern California. Flames race out of control, evacuations are ordered, fire crews respond, and after hours, days, and in some cases weeks, the blaze is finally snuffed out and the damage is assessed. But new research finds the flames are not the only problem. Wildfire smoke has greatly extended the damaging reach of these out of control blazes. I refer to them as the long arm of the fire. Neil Driscoll is a Scripps Institution of Oceanography researcher who helps firefighters track wildfire movement in Southern California. These plumes can go long distances. We noticed that this year. We had areas in New England being shut down because of air quality from fires that were in California. In San Diego, the amount of smoke in the air has more than tripled over the last decade. NPR's California newsroom teamed with researchers at Stanford University to analyze satellite images of wildfire smoke. Stanford's Marshall Burke worked on the project. We've seen a clear upward trend in San Diego County uh, and across other parts of Southern California, an upward trend in the number of days uh, with smoke plumes uh, in the air uh, and a rapid increase in the number of days with these very heavy, these dense smoke plumes overhead. The investigation found Oceanside residents are now living with more than a month of smoke a year it's the same for other parts of North County like Escondido, Fallbrook, and Camp Pendleton. In Imperial County, some areas outside El Centro are now experiencing two months of smoke a year. Even so, Burke says the local region didn't get the worst of it. Southern California did get hit with wildfire exposure, but really parts of Northern California, the Bay Area, uh, got hit really hard just because of this confluence of wind direction and where exactly the active wildfires are. But the smoke is still impacting health in San Diego and Imperial counties. The analysis found a 17 percent increase in hospitalizations for respiratory and cardiac conditions in the heavy fire year of 2018, compared to just two years before. Prescriptions for asthma medication, abuterol, spiked by nearly 21 percent between 2013 and 2018. It can be very bad for people with pre-existing heart or lung disease. Greg Hirsch is an Escondido pulmonologist. He says wildfire smoke is notoriously bad for people. Healthy folks can experience coughing, lung irritation, and shortness of breath. In more serious cases, it can cause asthma and heart disease. Hirsch is particularly concerned about tiny particles smaller than 2.5 microns that can get past the upper airways. They get down into the smaller airways or the alveoli, the air sacs where the gas exchange occurs, they can be difficult to get rid of. The wildfire smoke is particularly dangerous in communities of color that are already coping with poor air quality. Barrio Logan, San Isidro, and Escondido face additional challenges. Their air is polluted because of traffic or industry. San Diego County Supervisor Nora Vargas chairs the regional air board. She says politicians and regulators need to take extra steps to help communities of color cope, for instance, by providing alerts about poor air quality. We'll give our communities the tools that they need so they are very mindful and they know when pollution um, isn't in, in, at those levels so that they're able to also protect themselves. Vargas says making sure people are aware of the risks of dirty air and giving them access to health care are important for working class communities. She knows the Air Board can't regulate wildfire smoke, but regulators can work to reduce other pollution sources that amplify the smoke's health impacts. We are really thinking about uh, what are the potential uh, risk of the different industries that are in the region to be able to uh, mitigate that. I think that's another huge uh, issue for us. Meanwhile, fires continue to burn in California. There are more than a dozen active battles against wildfires. Flames from more than 7,700 blazes have already charred more than 2.4 million acres in California just this year. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.